zombie apocalypse. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the girl with the pig. You mean talk about the girl with the pig? Like, look at the weird girl with the weird pig? How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was on. Uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay.
Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win. Because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun! After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare.
know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We are the Dead Enders. Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. Hmm. Nope. I don't like the look of this. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got... a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the build going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! <laughs> The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. We'll call it the, uh... The griefer grab. No leaving the designated crafting areas for any reason. And please, hmm. please. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the dead enders can't lose. Try your best. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no! 
a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops. Oh no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben! No! Come back! It was Aiden, Cat. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be mm. careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. <clears throat> Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Could that be Reuben? Hmm. Pig tracks. Reuben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. I got a carrot for ya! Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Ruben? Are you in there? Stupid pigs. Ruben! 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 Oh no. Are you in there, buddy? Oh jeez. Please don't be toasted, Ruben. Yeah! 
Ruben? Is that you? Hey, buddy. You want a carrot? <coughs> Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We've got to hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... <coughs> Get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for. What's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, Hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether... You killed a wither skeleton. I mean, 
I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said- You could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won! The Enderman was the right way to go. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Sure. I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. 
We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good. But Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends in their time of need paid off yet again. Our Enderman is so lifelike, I don't even want to glance at it. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could we deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <laughs> and just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. I'm ready to do this deal if you are. My deal is with Petra. She'll be here. But we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? Take a breath, would you? I'll show you the skull when I'm good and ready. Unacceptable. I'm not wasting any more time with you. Ivor. Not a moment too soon. Partner here almost soured the deal. Ah, oh, well, that's not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Looks like we're good to go. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. This isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. Lapis isn't so bad. We do need something decorative for the treehouse. Screw this. We're going after it. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. We won't find him just standing around. Step aside, I have please. just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway.
up? Sup? Nothing. Sup with you? Nothing. Sup with you? I just said, nothing. Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks, too? You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Whoa. Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Coolorama. Ha. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over... We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha! Huh. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. That was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Kinda busy right now, man. What, busy trying to get a life? I'm busy trying to find some friends? Hey! Hey! Where do you think you're- What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the boat. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig. You kidnapped my pig. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. He's not food. Once I butcher the thing, we can all have a piece. I like the jowl myself. Just a fancy word for cheeks. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice... <laughs> Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy. He cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? 
I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait! There he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah. Hey, what would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. You should laugh. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. <laughs> chicken! 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 It's gone. You're totally fine. You were totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind up room. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo! Get out of here! The usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Meet again. <laughs> One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait. This is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, I really need to get inside. You and every person here without a ticket. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crapped in time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in there. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! My poultry! My precious poultry! Keep your eyes closed, then we pack out your rock! Ah! Oh. Now's our chance. Oh. Hey! <laughs> We're
Where'd he go? There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. Ready? Ready. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have any fun. We let you hang out with us. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing. Oh, hello. <clears throat> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier. You know, to save Reuben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it. But I thought it was too soft. Too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion. I know this is a big step, but... Come on, Axel. Make yourself useful and go find that skull. I am. Uh, nope. You're literally doing the exact opposite of what I just asked you to do. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh yeah, the perfect crime. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. Maybe it's some kind of machine? If it is, it's not like any machine I've ever seen. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. Good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. We need to get out of here. Whatever this guy is doing, I don't want to be around when he gets back. If he's doing something shady, we need to figure out what and why. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys, scatter!
Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? Over here, jerk. What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave her alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two. Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. Pay us what you owe us. You give us a diamond, and we'll get out of your hair. I won't be threatened. Not by the likes of you. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you? We are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Gabriel! Please, you. please! Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. I felt a lot of we pressure should ask Gabriel here. for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. We need Gabriel to get Lucas back. And to deal with everything else we saw down there. We're doing the right thing, Jesse. I just hope Lucas can hold out against that golem long enough for us to get help. Come on, then. Let's crash this party. With the right training and guidance, anyone, and I mean anyone, can become a hero. You just have to believe it. I want you to look in the eyes. And I want you to know that I'm We've just got to push through this crowd to get to Gabriel. Keep it orderly, folks. Well, look out. You, right there in the front row. You know, when uh, Elgard and the dragon, um, like, what was her favorite food? Bread. Next question. Dude, manners, come on, come on. Yes, next. What question do you have for the mighty Gabriel? Well? I saw something scary in the basement. I'm not following. This creep's been building a monster down there. I'm telling you, he's trouble. Is that so? Well, as you all know, trouble is what I do best. I'm not making it up. We really need your help. Hmm. Perhaps we should have this checked out. I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? 
With enough hard work? Yes. Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How dare you interrupt like this? Wait, this guy is a friend of yours? He's no friend of mine. Finally, a little bit of truth! Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. This can't be good! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. I... No! Creature! Attack! Creature! Attack! Yeah. What have you done? Gabriel! No! Stay away! It's after me, not you. Look at him! The mighty Gabriel! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> Creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! He's lost control of it! Oh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That potion, is that... Uh-oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. The potion. Axel, you've got to throw the real potion. But finders keepers. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Axel, come on. Jesse, throw it. It's protecting itself. Command block exposed. The potion is useless. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Ivor, you coward, come back here! Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. Of course. Follow me! down there. Abandon me! No! We were trying to warn Gabriel and get him to help. 
Jesse! Wait, wait! We have to stay together! Jesse, help me! Everyone. We must set out for my fortress. We'll be better protected there. Thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even, right? Incoming! We'll be safe as soon as we get to my temple! Chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. Ah! Hurry! If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe! Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit! Everyone, get in! Now! Thank you. There are so many of them. I I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others, you must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. What? Why me? I believe in you. Take the amulet. Take it through the portal, and then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. Stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! Petra! You've got to go through the portal with us! Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Get through the portal! Jesse! Hold on, Petra! I'm coming for you!
Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? Jesse? What is he talking about? He froze. What does that even mean? What? No. You cannot... Petra is still up there. You cannot put that on me. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. I saw that thing kill Gabriel like he was nothing. I don't think she... Shut up, Jesse! Shut up! I'm just saying, we might have to deal with the fact Don't that... say another word! Hey, there she is! Come on! Come on! You again. Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable potion! Ha! More needless violence. It solves nothing. Learn the lesson now or you'll share Gabriel's fate. There's nothing left up there! Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl! I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course, there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. You're a coward. Maybe, but I survived. And that's what counts. There's more to life than survival. Without survival, there is no life. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. We should go that way. Time's wasting, let's go. I don't remember asking for your help. It's not for my sake. Yeah, well, keep it to yourself. There's nothing left up there. Nothing but that monster. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Ah! Let's get out of here! Run! This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! Wow. The nether. Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. Oh. Talking about new guy. What drop? Oh, crap. You weren't kidding. Everybody, hold on. Oh, oh no. Ah! Watch it. Okay, so I'm not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No? Good. Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms, don't feel me now. I got it! <laughs> wow. I thought something bad was going to happen there, but hey, I guess everything's gonna be. Whoa! Jesse! No! <laughs> Whoa! Wait! Oh, man! Uh, uh Axel, Olivia! Anybody? 
Okay, Ruben, remember when I said everything was going to be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about- Whoa! Dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto. The not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. We were just lucky to make it out alive. That's more than most people can say. Their bones are probably still sizzling away in that lava down there. Wow. Morbid. Sorry. Like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. Wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal! This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. You know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the dark. In the middle of nowhere. Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's this dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. 
Axel, come on. Take it easy, Axel. You called me stupid. No, I didn't. But you wanted to. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... Yep, that's totally... <sighs> it's getting dark and stuff. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not... That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye-level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done, like, a multi-level thing, but... That's too late now. I mean, it's... It's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no. I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. We can't just mope. We gotta keep our spirits high. No, we should be moping. That's exactly what we should be doing. Axel. I'm right, right? Maybe. But she's going to be fine. <laughs>